to just move around. Are you sure? Are you yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Want well, to know what's happening? I thought they were well, closing. We're waiting for Andrew Percy, the MP. Hello, I'm Abby. Welcome to the Red Wild. I didn't know. Are we going to into the middle of the room doing it there and then? Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and find them. Yeah. It's alright. It's what we've got. This is the first one. What else? We don't, we don't want to be on it. No. Well, I can imagine, I can imagine. Sorry, gents, can I just yeah, no, move it to one side? Gosh, are they? Cynthia. Oh, Cynthia, actually. Cynthia. Can you get in there, Great. Yeah, I'm all right. 
This is my good side. <laughs> Have you got one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to get you to move, just back up that, just... Right, okay, that's fine, thanks. Watch your back. Just go marry me. We've just got a mariner. He's a girl mariner this one. Right, so we'll have to get, grab hold of it and put it on a charge. Servicemen, all them with blazers over here. You've got to put All the servicemen. Stands with these set stands. Grab the back of the standards. No, not really. I don't want to lose it. You can give the right job. Why? What's your job? I've got to play for him in music. This is my organ. Are you meant to carry it on your shoulder? And where you're meant to put it on wear out? Yeah. I can't say that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Better. Welcome here, all of you, this morning. We're going to begin now. We're going to start with a prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we gather here today to remember and to commemorate all those who took part in that D Day operation some 70 years ago today, we come also to show our heartfelt gratitude for their courage and their service to our country to preserve our freedom. And all this we do in Jesus' name and for his sake. We say that great prayer which Jesus gave us. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now our good counsellor John and my daughter come into their own. Where are they? With the music. We're going to sing that first hymn on the order of service, O oh God our help in ages past. The full volume if you like, John, once it starts. <laughs> Time like an ever rolling 
stream bears all its sons away. They fly forgotten as a dream lies at the opening day. Oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. D-Day operation of June the 6th, 1944 brought together the land, air and sea forces of the Allied armies in what became known as the largest invasion force in human history. The operation, given the code name Overlord, delivered five naval assault divisions to the beaches of Normandy in France. And the beaches were given the code names Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno and so on. And the invasion force included 7,000 ships and landing craft, manned by over 195,000 naval personnel from eight allied countries. Almost 133,000 troops from England, Canada and the United States landed on D-Day. And casualties from the three countries during the landing numbered 10,300. By June the 30th, over 850,000 men, 148,000 vehicles and 570,000 tonnes of supplies had landed on the Normandy shores. And fighting by the brave soldiers, sailors and airmen of the Allied forces Western Front and Russian forces on the Eastern Front led to the defeat of the German Nazi forces. On May the 7th, 1945, German General Admiral Jodl signed an unconditional surrender at Rheim in France. And so let us pray and give thanks for all who were in any way affected by that war of 1939-45. Almighty God, today we remember the horrors of war past and present. We remember the killing and the grief the wounding and the destruction, the suffering of innocent and guilty, and the cries of men, women and children. Forgive the evil in mankind that makes this possible. For if we had wanted more than we need and tried to take it from others, Father, forgive us. If we have looked down on people who are different from us because of their race, colour, creed or even their accent, Father, forgive us. If we have let our hearts and minds become deadened to the suffering of people far away, Father, forgive us. O Lord God, you look on mankind making war, killing, wasting your gifts, and it grieves you. And so we pray for those parts of the world where there is conflict, especially holding before you today the situation in Afghanistan and the lives of all who are threatened in any way in that country. We thank you for all those men and women of various nationalities who gave their lives in the defence of freedom some 70 years ago, and we are forever in their debt. We honour those who gave their lives in battle, for those who gave up their lives to save others. For every soldier knows that taking their oath, that they may be called on to make the ultimate sacrifice. And we can never ever repay this gift that they gave us and so we give you thanks today and we will continue to remember the sacrifices made for us all those years ago these and all our prayers both spoken and unspoken we bring before you in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Saviour and a little poem on page five I came across this while I was researching for today and I thought it was by a young woman, Maxine Kendall, I don't know where Maxine comes from, she was only very young I think, a schoolgirl when she wrote it. I'd like to read it now. 
Maybe it is pointless to wish for lasting peace, for all mankind to lay down arms and for all fighting to cease. But we could despair of seeing peace throughout the land, no longer hearing talk of war, blood mixed with desert sand. For we do not have the tolerance for cultures not our own. Seeds fly on an ill wind from beds where they are sown. Hope lies in a child's heart, not yet turned to stone. A mind free of prejudice, a child not alone. And if all the children of the world held each other's hand, they could do what we could not, make a brotherhood of love. The scripture reading next. Does anybody like to read it for me? My voice is good. Yes, if you wish. Go on. Thank you. Let her come and turn round, else I'll not hear you, because you're talking to me and not to them. <laughs> uh, what then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who is he that condemns? Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Just what we do next, we're going to sing the Seaman's hymn next, the Eternal Father, and after that I've got hopefully on the CD we have a last post and revalley with a timed revalley uh, in between. So we stand quietly for that. And at the end of that, George will do it, which he's done here for many, many years. And then we have a closing prayer. And then at the end of that, if the machine works right, we have the first verse of God Save the Queen. So it's the Eternal Father. Give us some more volume. <laughs> <laughs> Eternal Father, strong to save, whose love and bounder restless way, who leads the mighty ocean deep, its own appointed limit. Oh, hear us when we cry to thee for those in peril on the sea. Oh, Christ, who voice the waters turn and hush the raging at thy word, who walk the sun. Oh, me. 
Started. There is a, the last burst, then there's a silence, and then the rebellion comes in, and then go. the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them we will remember them and when you go home say to them for your tomorrows we give up let us pray almighty and everlasting God we remember before you with gratitude all those men and women who have laid down their lives in the service of our country and we remember their courage and devotion to duty, even unto death. And now we pray that God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, and all mankind, peace and comfort. 
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with each one of you and all whom you love and care for today and always. Amen. Between. Thank you all for attending here this morning on this beautiful day. It wasn't quite as beautiful all those years ago, so I'm told. I was 14 at the time, keen to go, but I didn't get to be old to finish before I was old enough. But I had uh, a father who had fought in the First World War, who was following every move. When the wireless was on, which it was all wireless in those days, it would clip round the ear and he made a noise while he was listening to the news. Well, thank you all for coming here today. Thank you very much. And our musician. By the way, for all of you who remembered him, Frank Ella recorded that for me. Oh, right. uh, see, they Frank did a few years ago when I was short of a mere organist on a remembrance Sunday. Uh, and I could always fall back on that. And then the young lady from Adelaide, the youngest daughter of the Harding, was the soloist for Last Person with Alice. Oh. Keep those in my drawer. Yeah. 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 Some gentlemen's requests. Would you like to, yeah. to lay your, your flowers? Yes, sir. Yeah. say just a few thank yous uh, for today if everyone can come to order order, order. It's worse than trying to speak in the house of commons here <laughs> i just wanted to say a few uh, thank yous yeah. today to start with obviously to the police for uh, slowing the traffic down and making sure that nobody's been uh, wiped out at the back there so thank you for that but a big thank you to Gould college actually because uh, people may not know that it's Gould college and the students from Gould College, two of whom are here today, are here actually, yep. who came and tidied this up and have looked after this. So perhaps we could give them a round of applause. So, yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm on to with that next. 
and Councillor Fox is uh, is uh, is shouting things out at me. Uh, but my next thank you was going to be to East Riding Council, of course, who provided. Uh, this wonderful uh, new sign to replace the one that unfortunately was damaged across the way there so we've got the officer here who's responsible for that so thank you uh, very much for that so we'll well, sure you got sorry <laughs> well fortunately in the end because we've ended up with something better so a round of applause not often we get a round of applause for each ride <laughs> And then can I just thank the ATC and obviously to the fantastic Gold Mariners who've come out to support us uh, today as well. Um, they've done a fantastic job uh, as ever uh, in adding some glamour uh, to occasion. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you to Ken as well who has uh, presided over the uh, service this morning. Um, and thank you also to um, uh, Councillor Fox uh, who has been involved in uh, organising this along with Councillor Head um, and Robert from my office uh, who doesn't get thanked very often so thank you for yeah, that Robert, yeah. and then uh, uh, a round of applause for all those as well and then just uh, thank you to the Mayor of Snaith and to the Mayor of Ghoul for gracing us today as the civic representatives of those communities. It is amazing to think that 70 day, uh, years ago today there were men uh, and indeed uh, women involved in those landings and that a little part of, those, of the success of that um, uh, uh, started here in Ghoul with the construction of the Mulberry Harbours, parts of which were, uh, as we know, constructed not very far from here. But it wasn't just D-Day, of course, that this town and indeed this area contributed to. There we had our various uh, Air Force bases, including RAF Snaith up at Pollington. And of course, merchant seamen played a really important role from this town, keeping way, uh, open supply routes to Scandinavia in particular. So I think it's a real uh, privilege and uh, honor that we can come here 70 days, uh, 70, I keep saying days, 70 years oh um, afterwards. Because George looks so young, I can't believe it was 70 years ago. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, so can I just thank you all for attending and just showing that, you know, it may be a long time ago, but there are people of uh, every generation here today and it's obvious that we will never allow this country's sacrifice or this town's sacrifice to go forgotten so just a, a big thank you to everybody for gracing us today and for taking part thank you Mainly, I think it gets done through the mariners, doesn't it? Yeah, the world. Oh, oh yeah, he said it. Uh, the the weather the all weather. the week, and he kept saying that you know that Friday was going to be a good day. It's the start of a week heat wave. Yeah, so well, thank you for coming. Today. Well, it said I saw a little bit time ready to it said next three to four. How are you? I see you, sir. Might be a bit damp on the weekend. Uh, I don't know where he's got to. Ex Mary Phil was with us. He's just given up his, his mayor ship. Veritas Omni Vincent. 
So many people put bits in, don't they? Yeah, no, so many yeah. people put bits in. Yeah. But it's turned out well. It's turned out, and I hope, I hope it carries on. Yeah, I do. I mean, I think it's, um, I think it's really important. It is. Oh, yeah. What, what do you think? September so, the 18th this year is the 75th anniversary of the start of the century. Yes. Yeah. Tommy's not coming back with the day, he's gone with the Barry and uh, Margaret. So they're going to drop him off in town. Oh. Well, it's, I mean, I'll check in.